Good morning, everybody. It's Janine with New City Gardener. We have our first snowfall today. Not too bad. Uh, dusted. A little dust. So I'm out here warming up the car, getting ready to take the kids to school. And I wanted to tell you all about my incident the other day with the bat. So I stayed in and I stay, my neighborhood has been deemed historic. So I stay in an older brick historic home where now they're coming in and they're rehabbing the neighborhood and you know houses are going up in the $200,000, $300,000 range. But what is happening is a lot of these homes have been sitting for decades and they have set up animals have set up homes so you have some of these homes where bats have been in raccoons have been in possums have been in the whole nine so in these older homes where they did a wallpapering the wallpaper was done so well that in a lot of these homes which is one of my which is my home they didn't take the wallpaper down they just painted over the wallpaper so what's starting to happen now now the houses are being lived in some of the wallpaper is starting to kind of tear away but it's still easier and cheaper to for me to patch up as wallpaper is exposed so I've had a couple of that and you know the painters have patched it up and you know so I come home the other day from dropping the kids off and I go into the dining room and so I look up and I was like oh okay another piece of wallpaper has been exposed so you know we're gonna have to scrape it down da 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 so then I look a little close and I was like that's not wallpaper. Yeah, it was a bat. A bat. A B-A-T. A bat. So I was like, oh shit. So I'm ready to freak out. So I'm like, okay, I can't really freak out. So Relic, my grandson, was coming behind me. So I tell his mom, I said, take Relic out the room. Close. I close the door. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, freaking out. So then Spirit said, well, you can't freak out, right? Because if you freak out, you really may disturb him. He may fly around. So if he flies around, then you got to get out of this house and we got to call, you know, uh, animal control and the whole nine. So then something tells me I found this black tub for some reason. So they said, put the tub underneath the bat because the bat is asleep. So put the tub underneath the bat. And then once you put the tub under there, take the broom, put the bat in the broom, put the lid on, put the bat outside. So it's like, okay, okay, okay. So I'm really, I really want to have that, you know, that freak out moment. Oh my God. But I couldn't. So I take the tub, put it underneath the bat, and then hit the bat with the broom. And he kind of dazes like he's waking up. I said, oh, he is asleep. So I sweep the bat in the tub, put the lid on the tub, put the bat outside on the porch. And I'm like, oh my God. So after that, I do my little freak out moment. So then, you know, Spirit tells me, he's like, huh, it was a bat. But aren't you the one that said you want to get some land? You want some acres? You want some. So if you're getting land, you're getting acres, you're going to run into all types of bats. You're going to run into all types of possums. You're going to run into raccoons. You're going to run into all types of creatures. So which way do you want it? Do you want the land or what? And I was like, you know what? You are truly, truly right. So I think that was just my introduction to what I'm going to see when I get my land. But I handled it very well. I think I did. I think I did. But I do know now, when I do get this damn land, I ain't going by myself. I'm taking my nephews with me. <laughs> oh, I'm taking somebody with me because shit. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> so that, and then I go outside, and then I said, oh, we got a possum. I'm like, okay, okay. So if I'm dealing with this in the city, man, this is going to be hilarious. But then also, too, bats are good for farms. You know, you know, bats eat insects. So they are part of the ecosystem. So it's something that you have to live with. And actually, there are farmers and stuff who actually put bat houses up because they want to attract the bats to help them with, with the duties of the farm. So... It was just a nice introduction. I just want to share that with you all this morning. Good morning.